Good morning. Um, so today was going to be uh, the beginning of a video where I'm doing an understair storage project um, and I was going to do a project video start to finish. Um, but today is starting off not quite how it was planned. Um, a few mishaps between myself and the client with regards to the deposit which meant I wasn't able to order the materials. So I'm currently on track from Plymouth to Bristol to collect it and we have approximately one hour and 30 to go as I've only just left. So that's the plan today. Um, we're heading up to Bristol. We're going to grab this um, Finza White Melamine MDF uh, and then I'm going to head back and hopefully try and get the carcasses built up so then I'm still on track for install on Monday. loaded up it's um it's a finza product this white melamine mdf um it looks really nice actually it's completely smooth it's a matte white yeah like i said van's loaded so we're going to head back to plymouth now and hopefully get started <laughs> Right, so we made it back to Plymouth and it is freezing. So um, what we're gonna do now is just get, I've got a sheet of plasterboard here, which I just had spare. I'm gonna get it all marked up so I can get my sizes for the units. seen I started marking out um, so basically this is my smallest carcass my next carcass and then this will be the carcass after that but what I'm gonna do is throw this plasterboard on the floor um, and then I'll sit another piece on there so that I can get up to the right height and then this just basically gives me template for all of my pieces that I'm gonna need and it just makes everything that a little bit easier. Right, and there we have it. So that is our one, two, three carcasses marked out. Um, we're going to have another one on this end, uh, about 200 mil, but that'll be based off of this right hand unit. So we don't need to worry about that one. Um, but yeah. That was a trick that I learned from a friend of mine, Dean, um, at 2D Carpentry. Um, I'll put his link in the description below because he's uh, very knowledgeable about this sort of stuff and he's always helping me out. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get cracking on and uh, catch up again soon. Um, we're not going to put uh, like a solid top, we're just going to do 100mm strip front and 100mm strip back, um, which I'm about to do now. And then that's the first carcass done, so we'll be moving on to the second. Right, so 
so first carcass is made but actually it's wrong so not ideal um, so it means I'm gonna have to cut down the base and then the right hand side of the unit um, just so the angle doesn't be affected but stupidly when I marked it out I measured from outside to inside so uh, instead of having 445 overall I've got 465 so I'm going to take 18 mil off the base and then whatever it be off the top plus another 18 mil off the two 200 mil slats so it's always a good start when all that works for nothing right so I have adjusted that carcass which I said was wrong and it's all made up again I've just started cutting the components for the second carcass um, and then I'm gonna call it a day um, the sun's setting now and it's starting to get a little bit dark out here um, and to be honest I've sort of lost a bit of motivation now um, I need to get a new blade from the plunge saw so we'll uh, call it a day and then uh, fresh head at it tomorrow